We're now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Hedgesville football, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, your team finally gets a home game, but unfortunately not the one that you guys probably wanted, falling 42-7 to to Washington to fall to 2-2 two and two on the year. Just give us your thoughts about how that game went. I mean, early on, uh, you know, we had a game plan. The game plan was, you know, keeping keeping some things limited, uh, trying to wear them down a little bit, stay in the game, give ourselves a chance down in the long run. And, you know, we did early, uh, executed the game plan. Um, but when it came down to it, I mean, we're going into the fourth quarter, 14-7 ball game. And, you know, game plan went out the window. And, you know, you could see it sort of just took the, the wind out of the sails and, it just wasn't good from there. Coach, you talked about last week, even though it usually feels like an advantage in some ways, some maybe it could be a disadvantage for your team since it's been such a long time since you played at home. Do you feel like maybe, I guess, you know, playing at home, having that different adjustment for your team was an adjustment that I don't want to say obviously cost you the game, but, you know, was at least a little bit of an adjustment for you guys? No, I mean, because at the at the end of the day, it, you know, it, it's all about you know executing the game plan, making sure you're right alignment, right assignment, knowing everything you're supposed to do, and then when you when you have a game plan and it's executing and you're you're staying in the game and you're giving yourself a chance. I mean, we did everything early on that we wanted to do. It's just when you start going away from the game plan, bad things happen, and that's what it comes down to. What are some things that you feel like you guys need to do to make sure that the team does not stray away from that game plan or possibly be forced to stray away from the game plan? There's going to be a lot of competition this week for starting position. It's, uh, it's one of those things that, you know, when we put in a game plan, if, if kids execute it and we lose, then that's on us. And for us right now, we're going, we're going to find guys that are going to be willing to go out and do what we ask them to do um, and, and stick to the game plan because at the end of the day, you know, when we watch film, we see what our game plan was. And when you watch it on film, if we were in the right alignment, right assignment, probably wasn't as bad as if we thought it was. Coach, were there any other, I guess, big takeaways from the game against Washington? Yeah, I mean, we found some, some bright spots. Uh, some kids uh, got on the field and showed us a little want to. And, you know, going into this week right now, they're they're going to be the ones that get the ones reps. Um you know, a couple young guys, uh, one senior stepped up into a role that, you know, last week he didn't have. And, and now going into this week, he's going to stay there and see if, you know, he can carry on that, you know, that spark that he brought in with it, with him in the fourth quarter. Who is that? Spencer Hain. And why do you feel like, uh, or what are, I guess, some of the things in particular that he did to step up for that position that he's getting? Fired off the ball. Knew his assignment, got to his alignment, uh, worked you know worked second level when he didn't have a defender in front of him, pass set, protected, and and was blocking five, ten, fifteen yards downfield until the whistle blew, and that's what we're looking for. Coach Jefferson, this week, uh, what are some of the challenges that they present, and what stands out to you about them? Good size up front, a lot of speed. Uh, it seems to be a be a theme on our our schedule right now. Um, but no, I mean they got a quarterback that can run, a quarterback that can throw. Uh, Roper, Roper's a threat, catching it, running it. Um, their line does a really good job of moving and resetting line of scrimmage. Um, and outside, you know, with uh, Wallace and, and Allen and uh, and Rockwell, I mean they got guys that can go. Uh, so for us, it, if we're not in the right spot and doing what we're supposed to do, it's going to be a long night. It's also a short week of preparation as the game's been moved to Thursday. How much does that uh, change the approach for you guys? I mean, anytime you got to play on a short week, I think it, it throws a wrench in things. But, uh, you know, we got back after it on Saturday, uh, got early planning in, and, you know, had a good little good little session yesterday uh, or before we all went down to JV game. And at the end of the day, you know, we are at the end of the day. We are what we are right now. Uh, we're not going to change a lot of what we do. It's just now we got to make sure guys are getting in the right spots and doing what we need to do. Uh, so for us, you know, whether it's one day, two days of practice, whatever it is, 
I mean, we've been doing this since February. So it's it's one of those things. You're either going to execute or you're not. I'm just wondering, Coach, was there an option to possibly play it Saturday or was just Thursday the only option really presented to you? Thursday Thursday was the only option presented to us. and I mean, we play again next Thursday uh, at Liberty. So realistically, playing this Thursday actually gives us a full week before we go into next Thursday's game at Liberty. What do you feel like your team needs to do to get the win against Jefferson this week? Execute. Um, uh, effort. You know, I say it all the time, a lot of a lot of missed assignment and a lot of out of position stuff can be mitigated by your effort. You know, I can be out of position, but if I if I'm a hundred miles an hour hundred percent of the time I can correct some of the bad things I'm doing. Um but I I mean that's the biggest thing. When we watched film it was it was all about, you know, we're out of alignment but your effort's not there. So for us that uh that's been a big big focal point the last uh the last two days. All righty, Coach Faircloth, anything else? If not, we'll get to the fun question. That's it for me. All right, fun question for the week is, uh, do you have any pregame rituals or any superstitions that you have uh, week to week? Uh, for me, uh, you know, I, 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 listen, mm-hmm. I listen to one song, you understand, man, that's normally what gets, gets me ready to go. Anything other than that? That's it. All right, Coach, best of luck. Hopefully we get to see you Thursday. Sounds good. Take care.